So you mentioned that uh, well, Chayano well, Fuji well, is perhaps the best of all time. A lot of people now are saying that Hakuho is the best, you know, at least on paper, he holds all the records and things. So how do you think Hakuho compares to him? I don't think there's no comparison. Well, the level of the sumo people he's wrestling is different. If you right. go back and look in the history of the people that Fuji wrestled, the competitiveness of that time is hugely different. And everybody was aggressive, you know. And um, me personally, if, on paper, yeah, Hakuo, he's kicking everybody's butt because nobody actually is competitive, as competitive as should be. But uh, I think if he was of my time, I don't think even he might even not be Ozeki. Oh. Wow. Because he started wrestling, he's more, he's more defensive. Like, And in my time... Everybody's offensive. He would have hard time trying to side side step or side grab or whatever. My time, he would have had a hard time with guys like Akinoshima, guys like Koto Nishiki, um, Yokudozan, Hok Tenyu, Wakashimazu, Sakahoko. These guys were his speedster, but they are very technical speed and they are aggressive, offensive. The th- the sumo you see now, they don't. Nobody's out there. They don't. Nobody's like aggressive. And he actually waits. They call it um, throwing out your chest to catch the guys. And then he works on the side or whatever. But my time, from the smallest guys, no one, no one, you couldn't, you couldn't do that. I've noticed that about him. Like when, when he was going through that undefeated streak um, and just won every single tournament in the year, like he was attacking, 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 very aggressive. And then recently in the past couple of years, he's been backing off a little bit. He's been waiting more um, and hasn't been so aggressive. And I don't know what to attribute that to. Well, that's, that's how that's how easy his competition is. And he's, I think he figures he, and he figures out right because the guys who he, he know they can push him out. So he's just throwing his chest out there. But sometimes... He judged wrong, and some of these young boys are like, boom, boom, they got in, and they and they aggressively push him out, so misjudgment on his side, you know? But that's how strong he, he, that's how strong he was. Nobody had, nobody even could, you know, push this guy around, because no, nobody's as competitive. So what do you attribute this uh, shift in, in sumo to? You said that the guys today don't really compare to those of of your time. So what do you attribute that to? I don't know. It's more hungry, man. Guys, it's our time. They were more stubborn, I guess. They didn't want to win an easy win. They wanted to win the way their styles of winning. Like for me, I think it, it didn't matter it, it, um, if I lost, if I wrestled the way I supposed to wrestle. Yeah. We took pride in how the, our technique and what we're good at then winning so i even remember one time i won a match because i i pushed and then i i pushed the guy down from the head my i went home my boss beat me up man he tell me that's not what you're known for i don't care about you winning and losing i care about the way you i taught you how to wrestle how to win when you when you're at your best you, you you wrestle a certain way and you watch all the guys who wrestled around my time they all had a, a strong technique Right. Chono Fuji had a strong kick. Once he got his left arm into in the front of the belt, he would throw anybody around. Once Ono Kuni got inside, he would throw you around. Once Hok Ten you got the left arm in, he would he would slam you. You know, so all these guys had their all techniques and they would they would whoever gets in first wins, like but they would put up a good fight because they're always fighting each other. They're trying to get each other into the trying to beat each other with their technique, not just winning. You know, we wanted to beat this guy like, okay, brother, right in your face kind of winning technique, yeah? So it's more about like a pride kind of a thing. Yeah, it's more pride, I think. We took pride in what we did, man. And even then, um, we used to do tours. Off. It was crazy, man. I, I thought, man, this is only practice. When we go on these tours after tournaments, man, it felt like everybody was like hating each other. Everybody was like killing each other. I mean, it was banging heads wild man and I was like surprised wow and then I found out myself I had to do the same thing too so but if you don't do it man you disrespect you get disrespected man 
And that's the only way you gain respect those days. I went to some, I just went to a summer tour this year, and I watched, I go, man, what's going on with these guys? Like, there's no, like, there's no punch into it, man. It's kind of soft. I was just talking to um, my schoolmate, Anthony Noy. He's an MM fighter. Mm -hmm. And then we were talking last night, and he went to a, a, a mixed martial arts uh, event last night. And he goes to me, man. I don't know what's going on, but it's soft, man. These guys are soft. And I told him, yeah, even sumo, I don't remember us taking even days off, but some of the stables now, they take off and they go home for January. We never did that my whole career. I practiced up to the 31st. We had the first day off, and from the second, we practiced. And most of the stables now, they send the kids home. Yeah, so, so maybe like, it's just wow. society is changing. Exactly. You know, everything is changing because of society, man. And and they have to find a way to get these kids more stay motivated as long as we did, you know. Being a, an Ozeki yourself, what, what do you, how do you rate the, the current group of Ozeki? Ah, uh, man. Uh, <laughs> Start with a guy, like, probably, a guy like uh, Kiseno Sato, for example. He seems like... Uh, He's he's had some pretty strong tournaments. He's had so many June U shows, but he just can't pull the trigger, right? He's my man. I always like two up to two years ago. I I always thought he would, and I still think he can. But you know, I I feel kind of he's he's kind of screwed up his uh, his chances already. You know, and um and that's the hard thing about the whole thing. Fifteen days to stay. The top in 50 days, and but if you think about it, the Mongolians are doing it, so you figure he can do it, right? But um, I think he he lost his opportunities, I guess, you know. And then you have the other two Ozekis that won tournaments this year. Ah, I don't know. It's just um, I don't see them when they lose. They lose bad. It's not like whoa, well, they screwed up. Like, they lose bad, bad. You know, I, I would see them, like, being aggressive and losing, but, like, the way they lose is just like, oh, like, they lose easily, yeah? So, yeah. Uh, it's, that's, that's, that's the thing I cannot, I, I really can't understand where that come from, yeah? What did you think about um, Kotosho Giku's win in January? It was the first time that a Japanese uh, wrestler had won a Yusho in, like, 10 years, and before that, like his, uh, honestly, his Ozeki career wasn't that impressive. And like out of nowhere, he just, you know, stole the tournament. So he was very lucky. And the other guys around him wasn't doing as good, too. So I think he, he was lucky to, to get that win, man. And uh, about Guedo, any thoughts on him? You know, Guedo, I thought he was going to do it, man. Honestly. I thought Guerrero was going to do it, honestly. I like his sumo. You know, when he was from Sekiwaki to Ozeki, that's the type of sumo he was doing it, like uh, last tournament. And the tournament before that when he won. If he were so aggressively, I think he can go that guy. He still has a chance. 